Hi again, everybody. Larry Sorensen here for F5 Sports. We've talked about all different kinds of spins and how you can use them. One very important metric left, spin efficiency. Spin efficiency is the percentage of total spin that contributes to creating movement on a pitch. The higher the percentage, the more the ball will move. Only backspin, topspin, and sidespin create force on the ball to make it move up, down, left, or right. Rifle spin, also known as gyro spin, creates no lifting force on the ball and reduces spin efficiency. Higher spin efficiency also tends to create more velocity on a four-seam fastball. When working on a four-seam fastball, increasing spin efficiency is a common priority. This creates more movement in the direction of the arm slot. Players with high arm slots will create more ride, and players with low arm slots will see more arm side run. Keeping your hand behind the ball all the way through the release will improve both spin efficiency and speed. Generally, aligning the spin direction with the arm slot will result in higher spin efficiency. The last touch point on the 3D clock face can also help you visualize where the fingers are coming off the ball. Coming off the side of the ball will increase rifle spin and reduce spin efficiency. This is often referred to as cutting the fastball. With breaking balls, there can be a trade-off between speed and spin efficiency. This is why curve balls, which tend to have a higher spin efficiency, tend to have a lower speed than sliders, which have a lower spin efficiency and higher speed. Getting on top of or around the ball on a curveball tends to create a higher spin efficiency and more movement, but can also reduce the pitch's speed. Improving spin efficiency is a great way, particularly with young pitchers, to see rapid improvement. Pay close attention and you can make it a very useful teaching tool.